All right, we back. We back with another one, another one, another one. Um, <laughs> same outfit, same chair. I ain't got up. I ain't this shit. I low key got to pee, but it's cool because I don't want to take all this shit off and then have to set up all over again. So I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it. But damn, squeaky ass chair. Ooh, girl. But y'all already know what it is. It's another motherfucking reaction video. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. See me like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's do a die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gonna run my back. I had a long day. So baby, I ain't gonna lead you down the wrong way. Right. So y'all know I had to go back to my good old faithful, uh, Hold on, yeah, I think my allergies acting up. I need to take a third day. What time? Oh, yeah, I'm taking a third day. But, oh, shit, I'm tired as hell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Lord, I had to get that out. I'm sleeping. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm sleeping tired as a motherfucker. Um, I had to go back to my daily public freakouts page, baby. Give me something I can work with. Give me something I can work with. Um, So, this one is public freakout compilation number 153. Again, I ain't seen this, so we watching this as we watching this. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. We here together, so excuse me. Make sure we recording, girl. I got, I got the sniffles, the burps. All right, let's go. Don't yell at me. I will yell at you. Walking. What's crazy? There's no dog on the grass. Oh my gosh. Keep filming. We can be here all day. You're overreacting, Karen. My dog is not on a leash. And, oh, you can't read English, apparently. Let's go read Why? Because I'm Asian? Are you no, racist? You Are you racist? Are you fucking racist? Oh, apparently, you don't have to do anything that Americans have to do. Okay, so you can't read. Why don't you go yell to other and people you know that what? have dark eyes? I can't understand a word you say. Because apparently you don't know that you have to have a leash on your dog. Here, it's like every single day, you guys. And this is why I complain about all the time. Look, what's what's his name? What's your name? My name's Alex? Tommy. Yeah, your name's Alex, and I'm going to be talking to your manager. This guy called me sir. I get this on his fucking day. Everywhere I go, I get called sir. I'm so I sorry. Why would you call a chick big ass crazy. tits? Fucking. Why would you call. I didn't say No, that. stop trying to gaslight trans people and tell us that we're crazy. I crazy. You need to fucking be mindful of other people and stop that. being a scumbag, I mean, and you're a liar. I heard you. I'm fucking I'm gaslighting right. trans people. Let me, let me trade Lily. Wait, what? Let me trade Lily. I don't want to Did you call me sir again? What was that? You said goodnight, sir? Alex, I'm going to be talking to the corporate about you, fucker. I... You. Okay? That's bullshit. You don't fucking brass trans people at work. Yeah, you did. And I'm walking out and you're like, have a good night, sir? What the fuck is that? No, you don't fucking do this to trans people. This is discrimination. I didn't say no, this is discrimination. I'm done with it. No, I'm gonna talk to corporate about this. You don't harass trans people. Hey, you know it's one of the stupid things when you're catching Karens. I didn't even say You call me sir, and you're talking to call me sir on the way. This is transphobic harassment. Okay. Um. Oh Lord. Okay. This is a tough one because I try not to to dive into the LGBTQ community. Cause I don't want to get canceled and I ain't even hot yet. <laughs> I, I ain't even started and I don't want to get canceled. Okay. I ain't go. Okay. And let, let me think about what the fuck I'm going to say for a second. I don't think that he, I, I really think that the transgender person, the person recording is overreacting because for one, I get I get how you look. Okay, I understand. But there is a language barrier. Y'all have to understand. Especially <clears throat> now, don't get I baby look, I love the LGBTQ community. First of all, I know people in my family that's a part of it and I let I can't fuck, I can't say that on that's putting somebody else's business out there. But legitimately, unless you're like, let's just say I done seen a transgender where it looked like a completely different, like a, a man that was a woman that really low, like looked like a man. I'm talking about like in all aspects, voice, everything. <laughs> so 
I get it. But sometimes we have, y'all got to give us time to adjust. Like it's a natural thing to say, sir, because I get you got the, the boobs and the hair and all that. I understand. But when you start talking, you still kind of sound like a man. So the person isn't, they're not homophobic. They're just not translating to call you ma'am. Like, it's just a sir. It, it can happen on accident. Like, it's legitimately, it can happen on accident. I've done it before. Like, I've literally done it before. And like I said, unless you, because I know transgender people who, like, had the full transition to where it's like, I got to call you ma'am, because in my mind, you a whole female. Like, you really, nothing about you is masculine. So, that's different. But, like, let's say, for instance, Choi. Y'all know Choi does my nails, right? Choi is gay. And we talk about we talk about this all the time. Like, I literally, I probably got more friends in the LGBTQ community than I do in real life. But him and the other guy that does nails at where I go, they're both guys and they're both gay. But they call each other sis. And they call each other she. So if Choi is talking to me, and this just happened today because I just met the, the guy. They're not transgender, but they're gay. So if Choi is talking to me, he'll say, she does good nails. Like, she, she, you know, on point. She knows she's doing whatever. And then when they're talking to each other, it's like, oh, sis, that's a good color. What you doing tonight, sis? Like, that's how they talk to each other. Now, mind y'all, Choi is legitimately buff. Like, I ain't gonna lie, boy, if he wasn't gay, that nigga fine. <laughs> like, he fine for real. Like, sex sit in a motherfucker. If he wasn't gay, baby, he'd be mine. So, he's not a transgender, but once I saw them having that conversation, I always called Choi, like, well, I don't, I don't say boy, but he or dude or whatever. Like, I say he, I don't say she. But when I realized they were calling each other she, what I did was I just stopped saying either one. Because I know Choi, but I don't know the other guy. So I don't want to make the other guy, you know, offend him. So I had to catch myself. And there was a couple of times where I'm talking about Choi and I was like, uh-uh, he be doing this and this and this. Because, again, me and Choi are like friends, like close friends. And I was like, Ugh. So I strayed away from saying he or she. I didn't say much because I don't want to offend nobody. But I legitimately had to try to do that. Like, because my brain is automatically trained. If I see a dude, it don't matter how girly you are, how girly you look, I'm going to say sir, or I'm going to say he, or I, come on, now you can't, that's not homophobic. Like, I know homophobic. And I did a video on homophobic, uh, homophobia and religion that I really need to post. It's just one of them things where you got to, Certain topics just be, it be a lot. I'm definitely for sure going to put it on Patreon. But I don't, I feel like he's overreacting. See? See? I just did it. I just did it. I feel like she is overreacting. Because if the person says, sir, nine times out of ten, it was subconscious and it wasn't to be homophobic. Like, it probably really wasn't to be homophobic. Like, you you taking it a little bit too far. Because there's people out here who are legitimately homophobic. And that that ain't this and this ain't that. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. Y'all's going to... If y'all mad, y'all mad. But I, they doing too much. They they doing too much. I said they this time. Yeah, it's too much. It's You're too a much. You bigot. Oh I work. All right, Alex, you know what? I, I can't wait to just... He admits twice calling me sir. No, you lied about the first one. No, you called me sir twice. Twice. Yeah, but you shouldn't be harassing people with slurs. It's a slur. Do you not understand? If you, it's like if you call the person that color the N word. Don't. You did on the way out. I don't care. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Run that back. Did he? Did you just... Okay. See, now I'm about to get mad. <laughs> now I'm about to now I'm about to get mad. Now I'm about to get mad. Did he just say it's a slur and it's the same as calling a black person the N-word? 
the nerve of you bastard to compare him saying sir to nigga are you serious nigga the the most disrespectful racial slur that was given to black people and you compare that to him saying sir the only a slur and i don't mean no harm when i say this i am literally using this as an example a slur is when you call a gay person a faggot to me that's a slur that's disrespect but for you to compare the word sir because he called you sir to nigga are you serious right now man hell no there's nothing slurish about him saying sir he didn't say faggot he didn't say tranny he didn't say none of that shit he said sir and he probably said it on fucking accident and he said he didn't say it the second time and you got the nerve the balls the unmitigated gall and yes i said balls because if you want to be a man god damn it you must got them too i don't care i'm sorry that just came out the way it came out because i'm, I'm mad like how would you what kind of comparison is that nigga is a disrespectful ass word when it comes to white people or people that are not of the African-American community. And honestly, you know, a lot of people don't think that blacks should say nigga. They feel like African-Americans should not call each other nigga or say the word nigga. Now, I, I'm going to say nigga. I ain't going to lie. I'm definitely going to say nigga. I agree with why. I agree with the philosophy. But, <clears throat> baby, that ain't no comparison. Don't you ever disrespect us in such a way. Man, hell no, nah, that shit made me mad. I did not see that shit coming. Pissed about it. You did. I said I'll lock the You did, you liar. And I'm gonna hold you accountable. People, cis people need to be held accountable for how they treat trans people. And I'm not gonna put up with this shit anymore. You're crazy, bro. You're fing. Don't call me bro. Stop throwing slurs at me, you piece of shit. It's I mean, not a slur, no, bro. No, is like literally gender bro. neutral, you though. Know me. Like, I call oh, females bro, I call them. men bro, right, I call right, a right. transgender bro. Yeah. It, bro yeah. is a term, like, I like say, bro. Do you want to talk about sucking now? Why is it that you fucking weird since people are so obsessed with sex? Yeah, you have fucking discrimination you going on, you and your brain goes There's a such thing as too much. Don't fucking call me sir. Now they know this is this is transphobia <laughs> right here at the topic. Yeah, you know, you heard the last one. Let's fuck you. It's not transphobia, baby. It's it's not. We, we I know you, so you don't. Sorry. So it's okay. I just want to be clear with you. It's okay. It's, it's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I know what it's going. Like I asked. It's so he so he could stay there. He could stay there. Oh, I know. I already know. What sexual orientation? I damn. How I come it lets me know he's a man. I came across the he he is a man. He is a man. He is not no female. He is not a female. Yeah, she black. I can he tell by the way she said not no. Hold on. He is not a female, sweetie. Okay, girls down there, other women who are highly offended for what they just saw, and you did nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, you sided with him. So we spa is an agreement with men that just say they are a woman and they can go down there with their penis and get into the women's section. Is that what you're saying? What? What? Hold on. First of all, I, I damn near want to say, did you see the penis? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, baby, we in a new age. We in a new age, we in a new time. I get what she's saying it is. It's, if it was younger girls in there, it can be kind of confusing and a little uncomfortable because they don't know no better. But I expect better from adults. I understand a lot of people don't agree with the whole sharing bathrooms or uh, trans uh, trans women, trans men. I, I get confused. I'm sorry. God damn. Uh, sharing bathrooms. I'm going to just go with that. <sighs> About the whole mixed bathroom thing or like being in the same like if a if a trans man decides 
hold on, I got to get this right. Got trans woman, trans woman. Okay, we're going to say trans woman. Trans woman? Trans woman. Okay. I fucked that up. I did. <laughs> and I can't edit it out because reaction video is so hard to edit. If a trans person, okay, if, if a man is a trans and they say they're a woman, regardless if they have a penis or not, and they mind they're a woman in the in the eyes of the LGBTQ community, they're a woman. In the eyes of the world, they're a woman. I just, I don't agree with this whole separation. Like, we in a new day and age. Y'all have got to let this shit go. If they don't feel comfortable and they feel like they a woman, do y'all know what these people go through? Like, do y'all, now the first part, the first, the first uh, woman, the first woman was doing too much over the word, sir. But this right here, I cannot agree with this lady. I, I can't agree with her because these people go through hell and high water. Y'all don't understand. Like I said, it's people that's close to me that are trans. So I've seen firsthand how society and the way people feel about this can affect a person. I've seen the disappointment. I've seen the tears. I've seen the pain. Do y'all know the suicide rates for them? Like, this shit ain't easy, bro. And so it's like, to me, I don't care. You be whatever you want to be, baby. You be whatever, whatever you want to be. Like, that, that's, that's your decision. If, if you was born a man, but then you want to be a woman, baby, that's on you. That is your choice. If that's how you want to live your life, baby, live your life like that. Leave these people alone. I, I understand only because she hit me with the young girls part, but and that's just that's me and my deep rooted issues. Cause you put young girl and penis in the same sentence, and I'm automatically gonna get triggered. But I cannot agree with what she's saying. I'm I can't agree with it. I can't really? Agree with it. What law? What law? Baby, all the laws. So women can go into the man's with their breasts. Okay. Shit, I, I, yeah, you shouldn't. Y'all yeah, wouldn't come back either. Come yeah, get your money back. Yeah. You got a man good. with his penis talking about he's a woman. He ain't no woman. Uh uh. If he yeah, identifies as what he is. There's no such thing as transgender. He has a. Girl, okay? where the hell you been? He has a penis. He has penis is hanging out. Okay, no, I'm not one. Actually, I'm a woman who knows how to stand up and speak up for my right. As a woman, I have a right to feel comfortable yes. without a man yes. exposing himself, like, okay? Yeah. No, you go somewhere else. I mean, I see the little okay, so that's I get right. the baby kid. No, he's she not a transgender. He has a penis. Just I, okay, I get it. I, I, I get it. The baby looks scared as hell. I understand that from their perspective. But, baby, what world are you living in, though? You can't say he's not a trans. Like, uh, my God. These people are people, too. Now that's tra that's transphobic. That is that is transphobic. You cannot sit here and say that he's not transgender. And you're saying it as if transgender does not exist. And you're standing up for your rights as a woman. No, 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 no. I can't agree with that. You are transphobic. That's transphobic. And I don't like nothing transphobic, homophobic. I don't like nothing phobic. It's wrong. I don't care how you name it, claim it, or put it. It's wrong. Get your ass from whatever rock you living under. And if you don't like it, take your ass to hell somewhere else. Because now you are actually being rude. That is transphobic. Like you do. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? No. Yeah. Okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Okay. That's traumatizing to see that. I'm a woman. I think this is a place right here. I'm told only for women. So how dare you sit up here and tell me I don't have a right as a woman? I'm telling you, he has a penis. A full and testicle. You don't like penis. And I don't care what it calls. It's a man. You got one. You're a man. Okay. And if we went she into my session with our anatomy, that would be. Well, it would yeah. probably, but you might, yeah. like women, so yeah. it might not like women, so it might not. Okay. And we don't know 
But for me and for a lot of other women, they do not feel comfortable, and it's not okay. Okay, all right. So if, if well, you don't, I, feel, yeah. I, 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 yeah, shut the fuck up. If you don't feel comfortable, baby, you got to go somewhere else. I understand you might have been you might have been caught off guard. You might have not known, but you got to understand the times we live in today. That shit shouldn't even surprise you. That shit shouldn't even surprise you. If a trans person walk in the restroom with me, I don't give a damn. I'm not surprised because I know what world we live in. I know that these people actually exist. And I don't care. Like, I'm low-key. Like, you don't like penis? <laughs> I'm like, you got a problem with dicks? Are you gay? Like, the fuck? I understand, like, what she's saying. Just only, I don't, I ain't gonna say I understand. But, I mean, you, it's a split world. So people do actually feel this way. But me, in my personal opinion, like I said, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. So if y'all get in my comments with that bullshit, that's your opinion. But me personally, I don't have a problem with it. I, and then I wouldn't be surprised. If the person identifies as a woman and want to come to the woman part of the spa, then that's what they want to do. And that business and that establishment, if they deny them that right, they can get sued for that. They can be sued. For discrimination. Like, people legitimately will take them to court. And fuck around, it might be a goddamn hate crime. Now, hate crimes, you actually have to do something to them. But that's legitimately discrimination. If them people want to follow the rules of the person and what they want, you can't get mad at them for that. Just go somewhere else. Like, the fuck? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, yeah, know. you're sorry. You should be, sweetie. And you're out of alignment. And this is not right. I can tell you that much. All right? And I know you're out of work. Yeah, it must be hard. It must be hard not being a real man, huh? Try it. So, like I said, See, uh, I want every woman to get all of their information. On... She doing too much. Okay, well, I don't care what the security guard. He's just security. Really got to be one of us. Yes. Sometimes predators go down and we'll just go to the woman's side. Okay, well, now he's sitting in there. Okay, well, security. No, 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 no. He doesn't want to be. Oh, okay. I'm just saying he should have not been allowed to. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We know that. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. No, so, we knew who that. was talking? The manager? That I didn't. I didn't agree with that. Do you see this, sir? I don't. Yeah, this is crazy. Please just have my shit back. Yeah, dude, the police are on their way though. I don't know who the fuck this person. He followed me on the way home. Like this is weird. I live at. I'm confused. Did he just say? Like Dude, I don't know. Like you follow, yeah. No, no, no. So what happened? Oh yeah, he on that shit. Yeah. He, yeah, he on some shit. He this on is some shit. Weird. Why did you follow me home, man? This is weird. I, I know when the motherfucker on yeah. some shit. Yeah. He on some shit. Yeah. I don't even know. Who I don't know what shit he on. But he on, on some shit. Yeah, he slurring and shit. Why are you at my, my house? house? Why are you at my house? What is y'all gonna stop walking up to people's door? We cannot. Know, we're doing social distancing. We cannot have you here. No, baby, let me tell you something. DJ was calling my name from the patio yesterday, and I didn't hear him. Bobby heard him, and he was like, "Somebody calling your name." I said, "Calling my name." The hell. And, you know, I've never motherfuckers break in before. Baby, let me tell you something. I stay strapped. I went to that window. I went right on over there to them blinds, and I peeked the fuck out. Nigga, you better announce yourself. Who the fuck are you? I will put a bullet in your ass. <laughs> like, it's, uh-uh. I got crazy motherfuckers. Again, Patreon story. I got motherfuckers that actually got beef with me for real. Who the fuck are you? I told DJ, I said, nigga, you almost got your ass blowed off. And you the one that gave me one of my guns. So you know damn well not to walk up on me like that. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to let your ass up. Ain't nobody for to follow me home. All right? You bring your ass over here if you want to. I don't care what kind of drugs you on. Nigga, you either going to get shot, stabbed, hit with something. I don't know. But you can look. I keep some bat in the car, a hammer, something. Something going to have to happen. Or you going to get these hands. I'm going to put your ass in a quick... <laughs> Nigga, fuck that. Uh uh, hell no. Like this girl here. <clears throat> Baby, don't walk up on my door like that. 
Don't don't walk up on my door like that. I, did y'all not see that video when James knocked at that door? And I said, is somebody knocking on my door? Did y'all see the look in my face when I said that? Baby, don't walk up on don't walk up on my house like that. Don't walk up on my sanctuary like that. I don't play by my house. I don't play by my house. Do not walk up on my doors, my patios, none of that. None of that. I don't know you. You in here taking pictures and shit, bitch. I would have I would have just swung the door open and just pushed a motherfucking ass out the way. I don't even know what the rest of the motherfucking video is about, but that's what the fuck would have happened. You don't walk up on my goddamn door like that, bitch. You got me fucked up. You in my personal space. I'd have had to sage that whole area when she left. Can you please leave? And then you ain't saying shit either with your hair looking Can like you Can you please screaming? leave my house? Nah, bitch, you got to go. You got to go. Your hair ain't even brushed. Uh-uh. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I'm one to talk like my hair always does. Because what are you doing here? Because what, what, what are you doing here? What's the problem? Somebody give me some backstory. What are you doing here, ma'am? Who are that? Who art thou? Papa, who this woman? Papa, who this woman? <laughs> like, what is, what is your purpose in life? <laughs> Why are you here? Get off my motherfucking property. Y'all two got there. These, these white folks. Can you guys nice. turn that down, please? Cause in the ghetto, baby, please. you just don't walk up on nobody's house like that. You don't get bit by a dog, shot, anything is possible. Yeah, cut that shit down. They fuck around and copyright my shit. Come on, cut the cartoons off, man. Cut the cartoons off. Oh my god, they gonna copyright my shit on this fucking cartoon. Yeah, cut that. Cut. Get them badass kids. Cut that shit down. I want to know what it is that's happening. Like, you supposed to be telling us, lady, lady with the camera, lady with the camera. You supposed to be telling us what she doing. Yeah, ain't ain't nobody giving me no narration. Y'all ain't giving me no commentary. I don't like it. Ooh, she is bad built as hell. <laughs> Hold on, first of fucking all, didn't she tell them to turn that shit down? Why that shit got loud? Yeah, they white for real, cause ain't no way in hell. First of all, you don't have a TV up that loud anyway in the goddamn house if you black. And if I tell you to cut that motherfucking TV down, you better cut that bitch off. <laughs> cut, cut it the fuck down, or I'ma come over there and I'ma beat your ass. Yeah, that's some white fuck house. Huh? Ain't no way. Okay, that was pointless to tell, because I don't know what the fuck I'm... And, and that, you know what? You know what? I'm sick of these kids. All right, I'm sick of these kids. We're going to go ahead and fast forward, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. So, we're going to go ahead. Hey. Damn. Oh, shit. What Sorry, folks. We're going to have to deboard you. Oh, so oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Woman, get off the plane. Are you serious? We don't have time. Please listen to the flight. No, we've been already on the flight for like What happened? What happened? What she do? Oh my god, it gives me everything. Really? You suck! What happened? What she do? Hell, is she black? Oh hell, she one of us. Girl, what you done did? Oh man. Uh, I wanted to know what she did. She had a mask on, so that couldn't have been it. What she do, y'all? <laughs> like, what she do? I wanna know. Baby, if I ever get on a plane and they say I got the D board, that motherfucker, I'm gonna be one mad ass bitch. Do you know how, how much work it takes to get on the plane? Them little ass aisles, I got to walk sideways. I got too much hip for that. I, I look small, but I got too much hip and ass to be trying to fit through them goddamn little bitty ass aisles with luggage. With a carry-on, a purse, it don't matter. Baby, it's so goddamn difficult that you got to cross through people. See, that's why I got to get the aisle seat. Because you got to cross through people. Then when you get the aisle seat, you got to get up so motherfuckers can get to their seat. That's too much. 
That's that's way too much. Matter of fact, just go now. You can't even give me the window seat because then if it's somebody sitting in the middle of the aisle seat, then they got to get up and I got to squeeze through them. Baby, you know how tight a motherfucking airplane is. People got to put their luggage and shit up at the top. It take them that hour just to do all that shit and pull off. I ain't got the D. I'm not D boarding shit. I'd be mad as hell. Whoever the hell is the reason, baby, we got to fight. The only way I'm D boarding this motherfucker is if we fighting off of it. Because it is just way too much to get on the plane. It's just way too much work. I'm not finna get up. I'm tired. I had to walk through this airport. I had to stand in this line to board the plane. I had to actually get on the plane. I done got comfortable. I done put my bags up under where it's supposed to go up under the seat. Because I don't like putting my bags up on the little thing in the top little, little compartment. Because I don't like all that reaching and shit. I like my bags to be right up under the seat. I need to be able to access my shit at all times. I'm not putting my motherfucking luggage up there. <laughs> no, hell no, fuck no Y'all not finna smush my shit, I need to be able to get to it But yeah, nah, that's too much That's too much, I'm mad cause I wanna know what the fuck she did Damn, man, they always end it when it's a good one too But, okay, I done gave y'all two reaction videos Um, that first one kinda sucked though But, I'm still gonna post it, bitch This vlog was, y'all gonna take what y'all can get So, until the next one, I gotta pee like a motherfucker I've been sitting here for an hour Um, I see y'all in the next video that was creepy as fuck bye <laughs>